Hello everybody, welcome to my very first tutorial. I'm glad you're able to join me and able to share this moment with me. Um, today I'm going to try to um, teach you more about um, lighting within Lumen and Unreal Engine 3 5.3. Um, this is basically the little understanding I've been able to garner over my years working within Unreal. Hopefully it's some help to you and um, we get to learn from each other while working, okay? Uh, so I'm going to share my screen now and then we're going to begin. All right. So um, here I just set up a very basic scene. Um, it's just a PCG forest with um, just a normal directional light in the scene. Um, so I'm just going to create an um, uh, environment light mixer. I'm just going to create all the relevant elements. Just create a sky, sky atmosphere. I don't need a volumetric cloud. I'll just create a height fog. All right. So while working within um, Unreal and the lighting system, um, there are three things that you need to take note of um, in the environment system. You have the Rayleigh, the mirror, and the absorption. All right. The Rayleigh is... Um, is used to simulate small um, um, particles within the air and is highly dependent on the light wavelength. All right, so let me show you. Uh, let's say we're here and um, we would like to increase the Rayleigh scale in the scene. Um, it's going to um, simulate something like what you have on Mars. And um, you can also change the color to simulate different particulates in the air. And um, yeah, you can have different effects, but the default value give, give us something similar to what we have on Earth. All right. The next one is called the mirror scattering scale. The mirror scattering scale simulates things like large pollen or fog or dust in the air. All right. So if we increase the mirror scattering scale, we start to diffuse the light and block the sunlight. Right, so this is how we create an overcast scene, right, using the sky atmosphere system. And if we want a darker atmosphere, we can increase this, and we have more like a darker uh, overcast scene. All right, there's one more thing under the mirror scattering that we need to take note of. Like, for example, if you have the sun, let's say we're looking at the sun there, and we want a halo around the sun, we can just um, reduce this value. And let's find our sun. And then we can just see the mirror and this is trophy kind of doing its work. So if we increase it, we kind of have more of a halo around the sun. And if we increase it, we have a smaller hair halo. All right. So if you need that effect, that's how you do it. All right. The final one is called the absorption, uh, atmosphere absorption. So what it, what, it, what it does is it absorbs a particular color from the atmosphere. All right. So if you increase this, it absorbs all the green from the atmosphere, all right? And the other ones are the art direction. This one works with, um, with simulating area perspective. You can increase the area perspective and the height for contribution in your scene. So these ones are just some art direction elements that you can tweak to further enhance your atmospheric um, system in your sky, all right? Hope this helps. Um, in the next chapter, we're going to go into lighting specific scenarios in, in this scene. Okay. All right. So now we're going to try and um, create a sunny scene in this, um, in this um, a map that we have. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just select a reference. Um, I'm going to choose this reference as, um, as my choice. I collected a bunch of references and um, yeah, I picked this one because um, it has similar ground, um, similar tall trees, and I feel this environment works best for our scene. I didn't use this because I have no water here to reference from and uh, some of these scenes just seem different. So. Picking the right reference is very, very important. Okay, so I'm going to, just going to use this. And the first thing I notice is that my scene is dark. So I'm just going to increase the exposure in the scene. Let's increase it a bit. So 3.4, uh, say 3.56, that's fine. And then I also notice that the fog is a bit too much. I'm just going to reduce the fog intensity. And then I'm going to switch on 
the volumetric fog. All right. Um, for the fog, I'm just going to drop it a little bit more. So we have less of that kind of foggy thing. I'm going to increase the exponential height fog slightly. Yeah, okay. So we have this scene now. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a bit of um, um, bounce light to this scene. So we have a bit of um, um, bounce in the scene here. And I noticed that here is a bit too dark and in this scene. So I'm just going to add a bit of bounce light or indirect lighting to this scene. So I'll just go to directional lighting and just increase this to two. Let's have some more bounce lighting in the trees and up here and on all these places here. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use a plugin. All right. Um, in Unreal, I, um, it's very important that you understand how um, um, the engine works because we see that we have a lot of yellow, like yellow tones here and a lot of darks here. If we choose to use the post-process volume, let's say we tried to um, increase the, let's go to the highlights, let's say in the gamma, and we try to add a bit of color there, it kind of changes the different parts of the scene that, where I don't want it to change, all right? It's not ideal. Let's even go to the mid-tones and we try that. You know, we're gonna be adding colors to places that we don't need, like here. If I want to add some yellow, it's not adding yellow to the right places that I want it to. So I found a plugin that actually does the job for me. Um, it's called, um, lens and film, um, it's called lens and film post-process. Um, you can get it. It's, it's a really, really good plugin for doing this kind of things. I'll show you why. Um, firstly, I'm just going to go into the plugin and then I'm just going to in include the blueprint in my scene. I'm just going to drag it here. And when you open the, the blueprint, um, you're going to see these um, options here. The first one is going to be blur. What I usually do, I try to make the, the, the world not feel very gamey because when you look at this scene, it looks quite gamey. It looks very um, too sharp. So I'm just going to add a bit of a blur to just soften the edges. All right, I'll just reduce it. Let me just give it a value of five. And then the next one is a chromatic abbreviation. I'm not going to add that. It's it looks kind of fake here in Unreal, so it's not a good tool to use. Even in the post-process volume, though, add your chromatic abbreviation in Unreal, always add it in post. Uh, lens distortion as well. I'm not going to add a lens distortion. You can add um, lens distortions like this. And the next one I'm going to do is unsharpen. Uh, some people add an unsharpen mask, um, but I think it, it adds a kind of gamey realis realism that is not available in the real world. Uh, so uh, just avoid this. Um, it's, it's good in some situations, like if you have a CCTV camera, but not in a realistic situation like this. So just don't use this. And film grain, no. Grunge, no. And then here is where we're doing most of the work, right? So the color adjustments here, what we're gonna do is just gonna take the yellows and we're just gonna bring them down, right? Right? And then for the greens, we're just gonna bring them slightly down as well. All right. All right. So you notice that we're getting similar tones of yellows here and here, here, and also look at the blacks. We're also having the same kind of tone. If I switch this off, this is what we had before. If I switch it on, this is what we have now. So it's a very, very subtle um, um, plugin, but it does a lot of the heavy lifting when you're doing a kind of scene like this. So you need a reference to be able to match, match with, and um, it's very important that you do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bring down the exposure slightly, right? And if I notice that in the foreground here, I need a bit of light, I'm just gonna go to my local exposure here, and then just bring this a little bit up. All right. 
So I'm just going to call it done here. So this is how our match is sunny scene. So it's very important that you use these tools the way I have used them. And if you also want to do some also experimentation, you can also add an exponential height fog increase here. Maybe to the, uh, maybe just drop this, maybe to the volumetric fog, we can just increase it slightly, the extinction scale. So we can just have a bit of depth in the image. All right. Maybe with the view distance, we can increase and then we can we can play with the start distance so it starts a little bit away from us. All right. And then we increase the contribution. All right. So yeah, I think we're done with the sunny scene and I think it looks good. So yeah, so this is how you would do a sunny scene within Unreal uh, to make it look realistic. So hope this helped.